Hey everyone, in this uh, lesson we will discuss how to control the axes. You can see here axes X and Y. This X and Y, these axes have a certain direction. X in this direction and Y in this direction. So if you draw anything like this, a rectangle for example, you can see that if I click anywhere like this, you can see the rectangle like this you can see it's formed in x axis direction and y axis direction okay like this room okay so we have this room and if i would like to add any luminaires so let's say circle like this okay um and enter another one like this okay skip move this one okay and enter um like this let's move it like this okay um let's say like this or to be much easier copy this one um this object and enter and copy it from uh, the base point here like this skip then copy like this and like this and like this okay and these luminaires will be on layer that we call luminaires okay um skip this one is on layer architect and skip okay and if i would like to do the wiring i will do it like this easily right of course, we don't do this. We don't add them manually. We add them using the uh, Dialex Evo uh, program, okay? As we will learn in the electrical design course. Anyway, what I would like to show here is that you can see we add them easily with a certain distance and we do the wiring easily, right? Now, in some cases or in some plans, we can have something like this. Let's copy this one like this okay skip and then take this one here and rotate like this and um f8 like this okay like this okay now if i would like to let's say this is an inclined room inside the building so let's say we have a line another line uh, it'll enter like this um f8 like this okay uh, enter okay and enter once more like this enter and like this skip trim like this and enter okay and then select this one and add it to the architect layer okay great great so let's say we have this is a horizontal uh, room or a corridor or whatever and this is an inclined room so if i would like to add objects like this one if i would like to make it circle like this okay and if i'll try to copy it like this and enter now if i try to copy it like this you can see orthogonal i can't do it it is going vertical and horizontal like this axis x axis and y axis like this in y x now if i would like to make it parallel to it in this direction you will have to use f8 like this to remove it and you don't know precisely how it is like this okay if you would like to make it like this and copy like this you can't just make it actually precisely okay and even you will try to do wiring it is much more difficult now in this is a case in which we have a circle is much easier right we can do it but it is um more difficult if we use a luminaires let's say we have a rectangle like this Okay, very hard. You have to make this rectangle parallel to this one. So I have to rotate it like this. 
like this and try to make it parallel to this one and then copy this one like this okay then take the take these and copy okay so it is not just not really precisely okay so how can we make it easier for us all you have to do is that instead of having let's say move enter like this moving this object in orthogonal you can see it moves up x y axis and x axis i would like to change my own axes to be y axis and x axis so how can i do this so we have these axes like this x axis and y axis in order to change these axis directions you have to use u um s c u c s okay u c s like this and enter remove or signal like this and we have this one right our uh, axis we can control it right now so specify origin of the axis i would like our origin to be this point like this and then specify point on x axis so i would like x to be here like this specify a point on xy plane or accept so i will say enter like this and you will see that all of your own drawing now it change it it's a direction all of these squares it's a directions or they their direction it changes to y in this direction and x now how something like this will help me okay let's say we have a rectangle now look carefully when we draw a rectangle it will be drawing in these directions so if you look like this you look like this you can see the rectangle is not drawing to a horizontal and vertical it is drawing parallel to these axes so if i click on it and copy like this if i move it like this you can see it moves freely if i use orthogonal you can see they move parallel to y axis up and down like this to the new axis and the x axis like this as you can see here so if i go down like this you can skip then copy these co and enter copy them you can see you can move in the same direction of the drawing like this okay and then skip so you can see it is much easier to control or to draw uh, several object in an inclined drawing by changing these axes you can take them of course like this to prevent them or prevent them from uh, interrupting us and give them away like this okay great now what if i would like to return back to the original form or original axes u uh, c s like this and enter now what are we going to do simply we will click here you can see these are our axes i will click on view like this and everything will be back to normal so if i draw anything like rectangle like this and you can see the rectangle is now drawn into x and the new axis okay like this so this is very helpful in some situation when we have an inclined building or inclined room so I would like to modify it easily. All I have to do is to change these axes with respect to this room. Okay, great.